So I am using pre-mixed pouring paint. This is mixed media girl pouring paint. You can use any pre-mixed pouring paint or you can mix your own, totally up to you. So I'm gonna start off with white just to get a background covered. Now there's a lot of ways you can spread this around. You can actually just pick it up and tilt it. You can move it around with your hand or a spatula, or you can go ahead and take your hair dryer and start moving around with that. And I do have this um, attachment on the end which kind of points the air a little bit better. And on this hair dryer, I have it on cold, but I'm gonna use high air for this. All right, I've got nice coverage on the base, so I'm gonna start putting on my colors here, and I'm gonna start off with a little bit of this color. It's called Chocolate Magic, and it is a metallic brown, and I'm only putting a very little bit. You'll see why once I start blowing this out, but you don't need a lot of paint at this stage. You already have that background color, so just we're just gonna be putting paint pretty much in this corner, and then we're going to move it out. So this is a golden yellow that I just put in. Now I'm gonna put some of this Merlot red, and then I'm gonna put some of this um, like magenta, deep magenta. And it's really up to you how much paint you put on this step, but trust me when I say you don't need a lot. I'm gonna use also just a tiny, tiny bit of the yellow to kind of use, do some little accents through my pink. And it's all just personal preference. You can use any colors you want. All right, now for this step, I wanna control it a little bit more. So I'm gonna use my hair dryer on low air, still cold. Now up here, I wanna push this out even more. So I am gonna go ahead and put it back on high air. Just be careful, it's a little more difficult to control it when you do this, but it's a lot of fun. It's gonna really move that paint. So here we go. Now let's say there's an area you're not totally happy with. Like over here, I wanted there to be some color there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit more paint in here. I'm just gonna add a little bit of the pink and a little bit of the Merlot. And then I'm gonna push that one area out. Awesome, I love that. Now this is all a matter of personal preference. You can really move it around as much as you want. Now the more you move it around, the more the colors will kind of blend. So do keep that in mind. And at this stage, there's a few other things you can do. Let's say you wanna just move one specific section. You can take a straw and you can blow that out. Um, another thing you can do, let's say you wanna add even some more little kind of lines through there. You could use a stick and kind of just add to your design. This is something I kind of like doing to maybe get a little more interest in a few spots. Now, because this is in the corner also, you can do four of these that go together. That would look awesome as a quad tick. You could do different colors. You could have a whole like flower garden. Totally up to you. At this stage, I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and then we'll come back and see it when it's all done. All right, here's our painting completely dry. I think this is so beautiful and it's such an easy project. And you can use any colors you want. I actually hung one below it here that I did with blues and pinks. I also think it's very pretty. And I think it'll look amazing to do a whole set of four of them of different colors. But once again, optional. And thank you guys so much for watching Home Talk. We'll see you next time.